Hey, it's Faye. Welcome back to my closet. We're about to do this. <laughs> I really don't want to, but we have to. It's currently 7 Eleven. Today, we're going through 100, 100 t shirts or shirts in general. And this isn't even including my crop tops that we went through. This is solely just t Sure. We're about to go to war. I just know it. I feel it. We need to cleanse and sage this closet for new space. This fall, you better believe I'm gonna bring it back on the gram. If you're not following me on Instagram, the numbers are going down. Not letting that define me, <laughs> but it affects me. Anyway, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm bringing back the spicy legs. You just wait. I just have to get there. I better be seeing you tag me in your outfits. I need inspo. Thank you. I'm not copying you. But I can't. Don't worry, if I recreate your like, I'll tag you. This is the first t-shirt. And it's just a white tee, it's a v-neck. We love a ribbed moment. We love a bra moment too. Just like a plain little cute tee. Keep. I'm also going to LA next week, Monday to Thursday. Kenny and Faye take over LA. So if you guys wanna hang out with us and take us out, please feel free to, please off. We're friendless. This is the next shirt. I love the color. It's been a couple years. What's new? I have a bunch of these shirts because back then, more fit, unlike now. <laughs> Don't you think this is a little tight? It's really giving muscularity. Chunky chunk sausage length in the pits. By the way, I have like a hormonocystic bump for me on my armpit and my inner thigh. They hurt like if you see me cramping like this, you know what? Discard. Deja vu is gonna happen with these shirts. You're not crazy. I was never a big fan of tie-dye. Sorry, cringe. Depending on the tie-dye color combo, I either like it or I don't. And this one was one that I liked. I look like I kick balls in this. I have something in Greek and I stinged it. She has no ducks to give when she's eating. Jafam? I wore this multiple times this summer, which means a keep. Oh my god. I know you guys hate my stories. This shirt, this style, this, I, no, not style, paved the way to face hose days. I remember wearing this out on a date or two. One of my first First dates ever with this guy named Cam. See, I wasn't like fully against off the shoulder things, although now I am. The stretch on my shoulders in this, girl, catch me on the x-axis. This is four years old. Yeah, let's let it go. Seriously, let me think that this was okay. You can literally see my bras. I do love the athleisure moment. It's so short. This was a thirst trap shirt when I was a little, little slimmer. Posted that photo for a man's. Mm -hmm. To get his attention. Mm -hmm. Was it toxic? Mm -hmm. So just like all the toxic memes, we're letting this go. Check out my Poshmark. I wore this for less than 30 minutes for a photo. This is a recent shirt. I got this like last spring. Appropriate to wear around family. For some reason, because of the pattern going like sideways, it's really stretching me out like Laffy Taffy. To contradict that, it just fits so well on my tatas. It is cropped, but it's not too short. So it makes me feel a little bit more like doable. Oh. Well, appropriate. Okay. okay, this is a top I know it needs to go, but I refuse. This goes against everything to make me like positive about my body. The whole point of this video is me having an addiction to keeping clothes that are too small for me until I'm skinny enough to wear. It's too short, it's too tight. It is stretchy though. I do have something to stand on. I like wearing this without broski, but it's see -through. I didn't realize that until I was editing a video where I was trying my period panties. If you go back in that video, don't look too close. You might see a pepperoni or two. I love this deeper cool tone, blue tone red, but it is too short, it is too tiny. Keeping. When I went through that huge transition in my life, looking back, it was not that dramatic. Okay, but I'm still affected till this day, all right? Wore this shirt in a vlog. We were moving freshly after a broken heart, but like, like it's so small. No clothes on my body. And I understand that now. Not that that's wrong at all because I'm literally going back into my no clothes phase. No one can stop me. Not Buddha himself or my mom. But like, and not just my nails. Oh my god, so cool. Ooh, ooh. If you want this on Poshmark, maybe it's for like $2. I don't know. Go look. Yes, I'm counting this. I have two of these. Been meaning to throw them away. It's cute, but like it's too wide on the arm. It's just really making me question my body. And that's not what we're here for. It's just constructed horribly. With that being said, toss. Do you remember the shirt? Do I got a whole box of clothes from YesStyle that I did not order. Someone's order was sent to me. I still made a whole try on haul in the video. And it was actually really fun to try on someone else's style because I was like, what the? No shade at all. It's just a little tent. This was one of the pieces I kept, which is like totally off the charts from my style. Me a couple years ago, I wore little to no clothes. Remember that, that part? This was like me touring a fifth grade class in the zoo. But I liked it. Again, love the color. Wait, maybe I do want this. What if I wear this like open? No, I didn't. I picked this t-shirt out because it was just like plain and simple. I'm obsessed with this shade of blue. Everything I've been doing, I've been going for this color. With that being said, first week of September, we're dropping sweaters. I meant crew necks. It's a little bit brighter than this blue. I don't know if I made enough for everyone. 
Anyway, I'm getting embroidered locally sourced. I want you to be there. Follow my Instagram. And that's her shop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Frill. It's supposed to like look very loose on the body. You can see how it touch my butt. Crossing the line, touching my body. It's too tight. It's suffocating me. Toss. I do not dare to do that again. The same shirt in a different color. What? What was the thinking? Did I really think I matched this level of smallness? Who am I fooling? Ooh, myself. I don't love the mock neck. It's, it's just an awkward spot. I'm not trying to look like Tim Tebow out here. The floppy version. Not the mole rat from Kim Possible. Although I can see that this can work if I work on myself. We're gonna toss it because we are not doing that. We've been doing that for like five years. Keeping clothes that we will work into. No, our clothes should be working us. The uh -huh. Do I even want to attempt this? I do not. It's like a whole booby trap. You have to tie it up. You have to zip it up. Get into these little tiny holes. It's not stretchy. I was a six back then and then I struggled. It's not the tag, so if you want it. You guys know how much I love Rolla Rolla. The only Rolla Rolla is her stomach roller rollers. Yeah, I don't understand myself sometimes. Going for this like very cutesy tennis at leisure moment. Why did I spend so much money on clothes that I didn't even like? I was just trying to figure who I was. And look at us now. Minus bank account. Speaking of money being lost in the trash voluntarily. Girls like me do cry. I remember I was going to Beautycon. Try to find something expensive to wear. I came up with this. And this is what I mean, girls and gals and gents and fence. First of all, waste of money. Second of all, what are you doing? Trying to fit in. That's the best you could do, babe. Wait, am I tossing this? I just need some tweaking. So let me, just let me. Hi, man. Take your order. Yeah, for sure. Will you be using any gift cards today? Did I come? First window, please. At least this was thrifted. Okay, there's no way I'm tossing this shirt. This is from Hong Kong when Whitney and I went to Disneyland. But you could tell how much I've grew. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because of memories. I like it. Why? No. No. I stole this from my boyfriend. We went camping. And I needed a t-shirt. I didn't want to wear my clothes because what fun is that? Um, I'm gonna cry. My first merch ever. Just listen, Linda. I don't know why I don't wear this t-shirt more because I need to represent my Lindas. Any kind of merch or clothing that I've ever put out. My listen, Linda crewnecks in black and the hoodie. Got the most attraction and compliment. First compliment I got was going to Home Depot and I bought like a lawnmower. And they're like, I love your sweater. Thanks. I did that. My nieces and nephews too. They're the ones who like rep my merch the most, especially Eisman. He gets a bunch of girls. Compliment him all the time on the sweater. You're welcome. It'd really be a conversation starter. I love the black one. Keep you crazy lady. I was going to Korea for maybe like the or third or fourth time. And it was like cherry blossom season. I was like, I need to buy something fancy. Every time I go on a trip, trying to find the most expensive, coolest like brand item, just in case, just in case. <gasps> Is that really a Chanel? Look, look, if I wear it like this, like I look ridiculous. I didn't know back then, but wearing shirts are tight and show your figure, not just in Korea, but like in Asia overall is like, Scandalous. So me popping these babies out thinking I'm like fashionable really is just a scandal. I mean this could be cute kind of. Oh no no. I don't know what got into my soul and my system that day. I went to Hot Topic and I was like yeah. I'm challenging the Wednesday in me. I'm so 90s baby. Is it my style? Is it me? I have to challenge that. No. We're just gonna ride the train. When we're on the train, it doesn't stop. So buckle up. Baby. We have another preppy wannabe moment. Skinny legends make it look good. I just need to stop comparing myself. It really just makes me question my existence. And that's not, that's not the train ride I have booked. It's just not meant for my body. Wow, I'm like not attached to anything at all. We're seasoned. If I can do it, you can do it. This makes me look like a child. I just think the color and the print's a little bit too kitty for me. I'm a mature adult and I just need to act my age. Look at me pulling that collar when I want to. This was gifted from a brand. Brand up guy. Suga was wearing one of the sweat outfits. Dude, this is like silk on my body luxury. I feel like I'm friends with Suga now. I'm connected to him somehow, some way. And that's the energy I'm getting and it serves that purpose for me. So it gives me a reason to be like easy. This is literally my go-to t-shirt. I'm surprised I don't have any noticeable oil stain. And it's funny because a lot of the shirt literally has this exact construction frames my body in the most natural way all the natural contours dips and hits jugs look at the book oh yeah flattering on my skin tone you can't see but i am a golden rotisserie chicken this shirt literally has a fabric 
of sweat, if you know what I mean. Ooh, I like this blue color. I would have not agreed to this because of the like sweat texture. I mean, it's kind of giving. So cute. You'll see why I need to toss this because isn't there like an oil sting somewhere? Yep, mm -hmm, right here. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe like five, six years ago. The sleeves are cuffed, easy, basic, flowy. If it's any piece from my t-shirt collection that I'm literally dreading to toss, it's this shirt. The thing is, I'm not throwing this out because it's too small or I'm keeping it until I'm skinny. It's solely because of an oil stain. I'm keeping this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost let you go because of an oil stain. And it's done nothing wrong. Listen, okay. Linda. I bought this from Miji Woo. It's called a dicky. Never wear it out because I just thought it'd be odd, but it's kind of like coming around. It's kind of trendy. Been ahead of the curve. Miss Miji Woo herself. Maybe under like a dress shirt, this might even be cute. Something about the color. I love it. W Concept and I did like something really fun together. This is the t shirt that J Hope wore. So I'm not tossing this because one, it was gifted. Love W Concept. And two, my hope. This was also a friend gave it to me, Justin from Gen G Sport. And I think this is represented the Korean group or team at that time. I don't know, but I kept it because it's a cute jersey. Texture is like like weird, cooling, bouncy, there's buoyancy. I'm just gonna represent this team. I don't really know. Don't at me. Here's a little mock moment. I bought this from the petite section on ASOM. It's a little too like muscly tea looking, isn't it? Tattoo thing. What about all this surface area? What are we gonna do with this? It's been like two, three years having this. I never once wore it. Oh, here's a rare moment. You will never see me in stripes. And this is why. Do you understand why I say no stripes across? Wide shoulder Dorito shaped girlies, which I take pride in. You gotta take pride. Well, it's definitely something I kept until I was skinny. We didn't get to the skinny part. I stole this from my sister. Michigan University College of Human Medicine is such a comedy teacher. I kind of I wanted to stay in my closet. Go green. Is this mine? I think this is Al's. It shrunk. Oopsies. TBD on this one. I don't get it either. I have this one blouse. Blouse. Who am I trying to fool? What am I doing? Trying to get into book club as a mom? Yeah, right. Maybe it's supposed to be. Oh. Oh. Maybe I could tuck it in like a cute little. Oh. Maybe I am trying to get into book club. No. Did we not just do this shirt, but a little darker? <laughs> oh, this is tiny. Like 110 pounds tiny. So tight, you can see because of the crinkles and wrinkles right here. <laughs> really maneuvering our armpits just to fit in this shirt? Absolutely not. We love a yellow moment. I have a thing for these shirts. They all look the same. The sleeves are too bad. We're feeling and looking a little older in this. I don't understand my logic right now, but keep. It's just the way it feels. I just recently wrapped up a deal with New Balance. I'm obsessed. I love. I wear this to work out. Also, I can wear this out casually, and I like to like tuck it in my pants. These sleeves just uh, eat the cookie rolls up. To be honest, how many white t-shirts does a girl need? One with a face. One with a face. I'm too shy to wear this out now. It's supposed to be funny. I love the quality of the shirt. I washed it so her face is all wrinkled. It's funny because she's a kid. She should not have wrinkles, but she is crinkled. Living her best life. <sighs> For the brand, keep. I did a lot of research to find this shirt. Twice wore this shirt, I think it was twice, from H&M, and I copped it. They didn't have my size, they had a 2XL, and now here we are. Looks like I'm sleeping. The green throws me off. I look like a soccer player, do I not? Or like a camp counselor? I wasn't for this, but then I was for it, because it's an odd green. You don't see this green. Kind of rubs me the wrong way, and it makes me feel uncomfortable, but I like it. Remember how this summer I had this whole revelation of wanting to look more mature? Yeah, so I got this shirt, right? It's slimy as well and slippery. It really is not giving anything. It just feels like it's gonna slip off my body. In the right place, right time, I wouldn't mind. But we're not gonna take the risk. Here we have a shirt that's like four years old. I wore this last year Valentine's with Al. It's just gonna take too much time and effort to like put this together. This is very boobalicious. As much as I wanna keep this for the mems, we outgrew this shirt. We just have to accept that. Oh my god, don't make me get me started on outgrowing our shirt. This was the ultimate whole gal shirt. I was obsessed with this color. <gasps> Still am. Maybe because the sleeves are so tiny and the color blends into my skin so well that I didn't mind the off the shoulder look. Usually you guys know me, I would be like trash. Just really brings me back to like my most confident days. This top is encouraging me. I feel revived. Maybe I should wear this to LA, although it's like super cheap. But I love it. For $9.99. Why? From H&M. Wait a second. I was like, give it up. I think pink is my color. I'm kind of on the edge. I'm a customer service girl, but also like, I feel like I can wear this with like a cute tennis skirt. It makes the tatas look great. We can work with this. I'm through Old Navy. This is a little Old Navy brand deal moment. I picked out this beater and kind of thriving. It's a very subtle navy. It's not like glow in the dark. Maybe it's a little glow in the dark, I guess. But you won't lose me. It's like a translucent neon, softer to the eyes. I already know what the struggle is going to be. It's going to be the tatas. Or not. They're struggling, but... 
just enough. They almost deserve to struggle that much because you chose a shirt so small, Faye. Everywhere else feels good. It's a little short. We could ignore this, right? Close call. I really thought we were gonna toss this one. Thrifted this top in last week's video. I washed it. I just looked like a brewerick of gold or very wet and shiny goldfish. Fuck you! Again with the white tees. They make me look so wide. I'm kind of going for it. This one's very long. It's meant to tuck and roll. I don't love the sleeves. If you just like focus on the arms, I swear, 2019 or something was all about these mock necks. I just kept it for so long. I stuck to the verticals. I knew how to do that, at least. Do I see myself wearing this out on a fall day? Oh, mm -mm, can't see it. I really want this to work. This shirt, you can see it and be like, oh, that's a cute shirt. But then again, the majority half, hey, that shirt is way too tiny for you. Maybe if the sleeves were a little longer, it'll make more sense. But it's so cute. Like, if you don't think too much, I might just slip away with pants. And as much as I want to defend and be like, it's a crop top, it's a bust I look like this. I can already hear the silent judgment. It's from Lip Hop too, so just keep in mind how tiny those girls are. Busting out a new t-shirt. That's a little cookie on the side peeking out. It's cute. Guys, it's like 10 p.m. There goes the pink one. I wore it once in a video and I really kept it because I was like, oh, don't worry. Goodbye. Let us have a little skims moment. It makes me look nice and busty, okay? I will give it that. Stretchy material, very light. Your armpit sweat will stain. It happened to me. It's kind of gross and muggy feeling in combination to this texture, this shirt, I don't know, this material. Something about it, you know? Every time I go get my hair done, it's almost like I gravitate towards this shirt. It's all like stretched, nasty. Okay, the bleach just confirmed this is a hairdresser day shirt. It feels breathable. As much as I love this shirt, I have not worn this since 2021. It's a nice one shoulder sleeve. I don't like that it's not on my dominant shoulder, you know? Does it like odd? Be honest. Hmm, I don't know. What is happening with the little balloon? What the? F Am I a child at a fair? Why? Girl, I'm kind of full loady. One of those t shirts again. My own pimp pimp. It's not worth it. I can't believe I really kept this until I was skinny enough to fit it. Because I guarantee you I did not fit this back then. I really said, give me five years to lose three pounds, and I did not lose three pounds in five years. I truly need to get over these stupid white tees. This one's not bad though. This was so soft and comfy and it's not too big. Oversized where I look like I'm hunched over in the front and back. There goes Faye, one of her twice shirt. This is an interesting shirt because the sleeves are as long as the crop. It just looks like it's swallowing my arm. Doesn't look right. Maybe if I like cuff this, it could look doable. Is that my new word? Like, it look doable. I look doable. Be perfect crop length. I'm not throwing this way. Crazy. You think money grows on trees or what? Oh my god, the infamous meeting the parents shirt. And this is actually my sister's. It's not even mine. It's not tight on my armpits. You wrap it around. Wow, she's getting weight for sure. Isn't it? <laughs> it's a little... Maybe a little scandalous under the light. Little wrap moment, cinch in the waist, makes the busties look, I would say appropriate, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, is this a little much? Anyway, I'm keeping this shirt forever. Again, it's not mine, so I'm even that more inclined to keeping it. <laughs> if I could take it off. <laughs> Thank goodness I claimed it to be mine. I swear, if I come across one more t-shirt in this color, I like it a little bit more than the blue one. Only because the blue ones were a little bit too small. This one actually fits me and I don't feel like my gallbladder is shooting up my throat. My baby from my shop. I'm not gonna put this on because it's a whole process with the tatas, the boopskis complicate things. This is my Blake crop top that we discontinued, but keeping of course forever. Surprise! Here's another white t-shirt. Crops, ribbed. I know this one is sustainably made in the US. The Material is a little bit more rough and tough and stiff. How many white t-shirts does a girl need? More of an athletic wear. You know, if I have muscles and abs, pectorals, and lots of testosterone, you would see that through this shirt. But instead, you have two melons. So when I first got this top, I was like, this is a weird top. Like, who would even understand? But then I wore it out once and I was like, wait, the rolls are rolling. This is also from like a Korean brand, Style Nanda. Weird but in trees. Do I have your attention now? There's one specific detail that makes me want to keep this. Something about it going uphill at the waist and dipping down makes the t-shirt that much more beautiful on a mid-sized stout small torso girl like me. You cannot pay me enough to wear this, but here I am. I like the color, but I don't like this. I am not here for it. You look like those buff dudes. That's what happens when you get tiny clothes, guys. You start looking like a walking pancake. Yeah, we are just gonna call this one 
Okay, size small? Who was I kidding? I wasn't even a size small five years ago. Yeah, I really said, I'll just get it. One day I'll fit it. I'm not gonna go into this t-shirt. Again, it's a size small, white tee. Oh, ooh, I remember this top. I was much tinier a couple years ago. So what made me think that keeping it was a plausible idea? I went to the Lions training camp. If you're into the NFL, you know the Lions are coming to get your ass. Go see Brown. I was shopping with the girls in my family. We were in TJ Maxx and I picked this out for like $9. Best deal ever. Hugs my stomach. Not too tightly, not too loosely. Oh, I don't remember having this. Wait a second. Why is it like so thick? Like this. Oh my god. Stop this color. Look at my shoulders. They don't look bad at all. I think I just rediscovered a new favorite. Tell me this isn't cute. Lie to me. See, I could do this. I think this is doable. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a MILF in this. That's all that matters to me. Purple gray tee, just doing its thing. Yeah, I could keep this for pajamas. This is my boyfriend's shirt. He thrifted it, I think. Smells like him still. I like. Smells like old clothes. <laughs> Al bought me this shirt too. University that he went to. When he bought me this, I was a medium. It's just kind of tight on the titties. I can't really move my arms. He even offered to go exchange this for a large, but my skinny wannabe ass was like, no, uh, I can fit a need. I don't want to put on this shirt because then I might have to throw it away. I don't want to. Wait a second. It looks okay. Maybe this top button, no. I literally strayed away from this top because I was like, I don't want a face and it doesn't fit me and like I have to throw it out. Joke's on you, face. You silly little goose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, this is a little too long for me, so I'd have to wear like with jeans or something. The MSU state jersey, the new ones that they came out with like two years ago. With Nike. It's so beautiful. Look at the design. Okay, call me crazy. Call me a fucking crazy person. But when me and Al just started dating, we're like, let's do a cosplay. And I got really excited. So I bought myself one and I bought him one. We're just starting to get to know each other. Like, how fucking crazy for you? If I throw this away, you can burn my corpse while I'm still alive. This is this Rihanna Super Bowl t shirt. I got myself a large. The sleeves are a little bit too much for me. I'll just have to, like, DIY. It's Rihanna's infamous Super Bowl. And. For 2023, I think this has to go. I just feel like a child. This could be cute, but for a 29 year old, do I really want to wear a teddy bear face on my shirt right now? It's been like three years I'm in this t shirt and I've never worn it. So no. Oh no. So discolored, worn out. Should not be this faded. I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't go for extra large t shirt. We're having issues with these sleeves. The one shade of the 50 shades of gray that I actually like, and it's this one. It is faded, but not as ran over as the one before. I want to keep this, but I'm gonna regret putting it on. It's just so short, but it's gorgeous. It's too tiny, but gorgeous. The belly is popping. The boobskis are popping. I kept this shirt for so long. The saddest piece I have to let go. And I know what you're thinking. It's smaller than a G-string. I randomly got this in Korea. I'm not bothering. This is just a t-shirt from Creation Coffee. Um, if you guys didn't know, Al's brother owns a coffee shop. And it's called Creation Coffee. You guys should check it out if you're in Michigan. Midland, Mount Pleasant, Saginaw. And Frank and Move. Look at these sleeves. This looks like an old school three-quarter length. Like the old Fabi days. <laughs> I bought this shirt when I bought the Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction shirt. Wow, I'm, I'm, it's midnight, you guys. Maybe if I was a diehard Wizard of the Oz fan, but I'm not. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, did I just get a paper cut across my I'm <laughs> cranky. Sorry. The anti-social social club. I'll toss you. I'm mad now. I'll keep you. My very first Tigers baseball game. We went kind of late to the game and they were giving away these freebies if you bought the tickets that weekend for last July 4th. And there was only a 2XL left. This is for the memories, okay? Shout out Tigers. I love this t-shirt. Again, it's one of those basic tees, but the quality is greater. Also, this has been one of the colors I've been gravitating towards too. Like, it's really out here. I have two jerseys. These are both the Lions. This is a St. Brown jersey. And then this one's actually Owls. I stole it because it's too small for him. It's a Stafford jersey. I'm a run. It's going Dominate. She's a football girl now. What is this? Why do I have this? There's a tag on it still if you want it. The infamous trunk project shirt that I wore in the other video with the little oil stain. I'm only gonna keep this because it's a mid to high end brand. Two, it was gifted to me from W Concept. And three, J Hope wore this. The last video I said trunk project, not the T word. And someone went off. Someone was like, I'm the issue of this county. I think they meant country, but she said county. We're not gonna get into politics here, but let's just think human morals. You know? And that is the end of this video. Thank God. This better have encouraged you to clean your freaking closet out because I did not do this for five hours. If you don't go into your closet and cleanse that devil out, I don't want to hear the complaints. Just kidding, I complain a lot, so it's fine. You guys hear my complaints all the time. We gotta make room for new energy, new shift. You are yourself's biggest block. This is an act of self-love, self-care, wellness. End of the next whatever the series is. Close that captain, die captain. I'll see you then. Good night. Tell me what you do. 
on a Sunday I 